podcast of the year goes once again to the Football Weekly. It's easy peasy for you a lot, Jonathan, isn't it? You win it all the time this Well, we, we've been away for two years. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's, it's nice to be back. It's nice that Peter Crouch disappeared. Uh-huh. It's nice that the voting public has yeah, seen sense at last. Mm-hmm. Um, I, obviously, I'm sorry for you and, and the thing you do, whatever that is. Um, and mainly, it's nice to... Um, after all the unpleasantness that the, the unpleasant people haven't won. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the football ramble, by the way. Uh, Max, n- n- nice to win. Better to beat Judas FM. Absolutely right. Uh, there's that Max Rushton, all the way from Australia. You see that? He's, he's still he's still the host. Yeah, can, can, well? we, can we pick that up on the mic? Yeah, Max, are you are you? Hello. Uh, how are you? Very well. Can you ha- hear me? Hello. Ha- Max, how are you celebrating this victory? Are you out, you know, shrimps on the barbie, that kind of thing. Yeah, well, well, I've just got out of bed mm. and I've had a black coffee right. and I'm just going to let it sink in over the day. You know, since we began this podcast in 2017, it kind of felt <laughs> like we already had a large audience. And so it's been it's just been lovely to see everyone follow us on this four year journey. Um, and, and it's great to be back at the top. Yeah, if you could hurry up with And it's very man. nice. It's very nice to be literally carried by Barry Glendening because normally it is the other way around so <laughs> it's nice it's yeah. nice that he has to hold me up uh, yeah. thank you very much not at all I feel interviewing a phone only has so much uh, sort of uh, breaking news Max I uh, don't think we won best radio show Barry You've been a part of the Football Weekly for a long, long time. You've seen people come and go. A, a victory like this must still be very sweet for you. It's super sweet. I'm just sad that James Richardson has been binned off by the organisers of the FSA Awards <laughs> and has been replaced by Victoria Derbyshire, who I think, in much the same way as Max is doing a far greater job presenting Football Weekly than Jimbo did, Victoria lends the occasion a sense of gravitas, which I think was missing when James was uh, a regular presenter. Remember, years ago, when this gig didn't have an arse in its trousers and was held in a room over its pub, over a pub, I presented it for free. And then as soon as the sponsorship dollars came in, they got rid of me, brought Jimbo in. Not bitter about that, but in the four years or is it five that Football Weekly has been going uh, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it you, you, you must be and that, in, that Indian silk shirt is, is looking radiant as well my man you should be but of course you, you missed out with two years with the Peter Crouch podcast mm-hmm. is it any surprise that suddenly we have this man Joel Gro- Grove among your ranks and then you're, you're back winning I mean Joel you must have something to say uh, no, it's no surprise at all, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. There we are. Well, podcast of the year, Football Weekly, once again. Well done, gentlemen. <laughs>